end of my hike and um, hopefully you can hear me, it's quite loud. Well, compared to how loud it was on top of the hill, um, it's much quieter. But as with every hike, I've learned something and I wanted to share something with you. Um, with being so high on top of that hill, and with all the wind and, and, and uh, you know, the power, the strength of the wind that completely knocked me down, I actually had to rush down uh, because it was getting a little bit dangerous. And one thing that I've learned um, is if I would have wanted to stay on top of that hill, I would have had to get really low. Not just on my knees, but flat on the ground, low down, uh, flat on my face, and preferably holding onto something, a rock or something uh, much stronger than I am, if I wanted to remain on top of that hill. If I would have stand, stood there, I would have been blown away. So the options I have, if I want to remain there, get as low as I, I can possibly get or be blown away or I can go back or I can just go down the mountain and all the hill or down that down down baby <laughs> anyway so as I was walking back I mean when 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 that crazy especially in the second video you see when it's just blew me away and there was a huge metal post there it blew this away and I was just you know okay I gotta I gotta run for my life baby and <laughs> and I thought this is how my life with God is when I am up there there's no place for me there's no place for I there's no place for my pride and for my selfishness there's only him there and I have to get down low I had to down my face and humble myself in order to remain in his presence. If I want to remain in his presence. Um, or I can just go back. And I don't I, I don't I never want to go back. The only time I've went back is to get someone to come with me. Or the first time I came to explore this hike, uh, um, a cancer survivor came with me and when we got on top. She couldn't go back, and she said, you go. And I said, no, no, I'm not going. We're staying together, and I went back with her. Familiar path, the same path. This time I went by myself, and I went to explore after I, 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 I'm finished on that hill. In fact, I stood there afterwards. I went lower, and I found a safer place, and I stood there, and I, I looked over this area, I looked over Gore and surrounding towns and I proclaimed um, God's king, kingship and God's rulership and I was just filled with so much love for this place and I saw rainbow. In fact, for the past week, almost every single day, I see a full rainbow. Yesterday, it was so amazing. It's, I actually saw a touchdown on both sides and every single week and today it's just it strikes me this how much God loves this place and when I was pray, praying I was praying that that people would experience um, revelation of his love because once you you experience revelation of experience revelation of his love you get undone for the rest of your life and regardless of the circumstances you are going to pursue Yeshua um, yeah, so it was an amazing experience just standing on top there. I went down lower because it was just way too windy and overseeing this place and and praying. Oh man, it's every hike is just every hike is different. It's amazing. Um, yeah. So, anyways, it's so much easier to take familiar path. I got lost actually before I started making this video almost at the end of my track I got lost for half an hour I couldn't find my way some of the tracks are not very well marked and if your navigation skills are not as good which mine desire uh, improvement you will get lost and um, I, I was praying and I was like oh man Holy Spirit leave me out I really don't want to get stuck here 
Um, and I'm actually, my car is not far away, so I know where I am now. But taking less familiar path, it's so much more difficult, but on the way you discover so much more and it's so much more adventurous. Get a compass with you and make sure you have matches and change of clothes and enough water. In fact, water is here. You have a filter or tablets. Good to go. Take that path and uh, if you need to go back, go back only in the case if you have to help someone. Um, and when you're up there on the mountain, get low, get low. And you're on your face, man, and you'll experience the presence of God. And Yeah, anyways, he's so good. He's so good. I, yeah. Anyways, I gotta go. I gotta go. I need to get some fuel. Um, I mean, food for my body, my stomach. Okay, bye.